Acute abdominal pain diagnosis can be challenging. A variety of diseases can cause abdominal pain, and a skilled clinician can identify the source of abdominal pain from the history alone 80 to 90% of the time. Most patients who present with acute abdominal pain will have self-limited disease processes. But some of them are life-threatening and require urgent medical attention. We will discuss the most common and important causes of acute abdominal pain. Irritable bowel syndrome, affecting up to 20% of the population, is the most common cause of recurrent and intermittent abdominal pain. About 15% of people have more serious underlying conditions such as appendicitis, leaking or ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm, diverticulitis, or ectopic pregnancy. If abdominal pain onset is very rapid and sudden. At this case patient even can describe what activity was happening when the pain began. Such sudden pain is associated with perforation of gastric or duodenal ulcer, colon diverticulum or a foreign body. Less common causes of such sudden pain can be ectopic pregnancy, mesenteric infarction, ruptured aortic aneurysm, and embolism of an abdominal vessel. If pain's onset is sudden, it increases over the next several minutes, but the patient cannot preciously note the exact onset, it can be appendicitis, cholecystitis, or pancreatitis. If pain gradually onset after hours or days, the patient can only remember the day or week when the pain began. Such pain can be caused by neoplasms, chronic inflammatory processes, and large bowel obstruction. If pain shifts from the original site of onset to another location it is most commonly associated with appendicitis. For example, it can begin as epigastric pain, and then be replaced with right lower quadrant pain. The pain of parietal peritoneal inflammation. Parietal peritoneal pain is steady and aching, located directly over the inflamed area. The intensity of the pain is dependent on the underlying cause. Gastric acid leak into the peritoneal cavity causes much more pain than the contaminated neutral feces. Blood and urine normally are mild irritants, so exposure of blood and urine to the peritoneal cavity may go unnoticed unless it is sudden and massive. Bacterial inflammation from pelvic inflammatory processes can also be mild, until substantial growth and multiplication cause significant amounts. The pain of peritoneal inflammation also increases when change pressure or changes in tension of the peritoneum, for example pain increases by palpation or by movement, coughing or sneezing. The patient with peritonitis characteristically lies quietly in bed, preferring to avoid motion, in contrast to the patient with colic, where the patient moves and cannot find a place or comfortable position. Pain nature. Cramping abdominal pain. Cramping pain is intense, with short waves of maximum pain, and then abruptly ceases for a period of time. And the repetition of the pain intervals. Such pain is associated with mechanical small bowel obstruction. Constant dull or aching abdominal pain is usually caused by distension or edema of the wall of a hollow viscous. Such pain also can be caused of a stretch of the capsule of the liver and the spleen. If constant dull pain is presented and after it's strong, intense pain. It can be gallbladder colic. Because. When the gallbladder contracts against the obstruction, the stretch of the gallbladder wall is suddenly intensified, producing a crescendo of pain.